Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Hey guys, so today I'm bringing you a really awesome review and that is the XGME 4K Horizon Pro Android TV projector. And this is honestly one of the most fun times I've had with the product for a while. Now I reviewed Android projectors in the past, it's true, but this one just has a huge step above the rest. It really is just so much brighter than the current ones out there on the market. And that really does make such a difference when you're looking at quality, 4K, vivid, bright content, dark content, color, contrast, HDR, everything you can think of when it comes to picture quality, this really does deliver. It offers a huge screen size, up to 300 inches. On my wall, it was basically about 80 inches. So overall, it's just the biggest TV in my house right now. And it just really offers a great experience in terms of looking and viewing at the TV. Now, I will say this, probably my most fun thing about it and the thing I was most impressed by were these camera sensors in the front. These have really interesting technology built into it to be able to focus and detect better than any other projector I have seen. So it has a really great ability to do auto keystone, auto adapting with object avoidance. So what do I mean by that? I mean, when it comes to projecting it on my wall back here, I was able to avoid the door, the light switch, and even this huge dome light in front of me. And it just auto framed it so that it was a perfect fit. It's really a cool thing to see just to be able to be like, oh, if there's an obstacle in its way, it will just go around it. And that is so cool. Like it just, it makes it such a great setup process. If you've never set up a projector before or had to deal with projecting it just right, this just does it for you. It's just that simple and easy. And honestly, it's probably the best parts about this for anyone getting a projector for the first time. This is such a great feature that trust me, no other projector does anywhere near this good. Now, I did mention the picture quality. It really is impressive. 2200 lumens is really a very bright screen, but also it just is the way that it does it in any scenario. So obviously it's never gonna look as good with all the lights on or sunlight hitting it, but even in dim situations, it is really watchable. And then of course, when you have it in all the lights off, it really just stands out even more. So I do love that. And honestly, the picture quality is better than my bedroom TV, I will say that. And that really just stands out because it's like, man, this is just a really great TV. Forget it being a projector at all. It's just as a TV, it's a strong showing. Now, what about the sound quality? Sound quality is really good. And one thing I will say about sound, I appreciate how low the fans are. I basically had it above my head when I was laying down and it really was impressive just how much I didn't hear the projector fans. That is not true of every projector. This one is ranging under 30 decimals and it really just is great for its sound quality because of the built-in Harman Kardon speaker. It really just sounds great and I'll let you get a lesson right now. Better than all of them. You're my number one girl. You got everything I need. I know we're meant to be, so let's go fulfill prophecy. I'll be your hero, baby, if you let me. I promise I will be there for you in your time of need. In your darkest hour, on your brightest day, I will be there for you, baby, when you call. And so after that, you can just see the quality really sounds good. Like, it sounds like a soundbar, basically. Now, it's not gonna give you surround sound system, but the sound quality is just so awesome that it really does stand out as better than any other TV I have used. So if you compare this speaker compared to a TV speaker, this is way better. And in terms of connecting things, it really does stand out with its IO2. For a projector, it has two HDMIs, one having ARC technology, so if you wanna hook up a surround sound system, very easy to do so. Also though, it does have optical for older sound systems, so you have that there. Two USBs to connect flash drives, external hard drives, whatever you need to, and the ability to even connect ethernet for fast internet connection if you're hooking up something that really does need a little bit more speed for your internet connection. So 
So I will say this, in terms of gaming, some people always have that question. And overall, I did test out Stadia on it and I did test out regular like remote games like Crossing Road and things like that. Crossing Road, basic games you're just fine with. With Stadia, you are gonna wanna obviously get a Bluetooth controller or the Stadia controller, and it works decent with that. Now, why I say decent is projectors in general are never gonna be the fastest response time like a regular TV can be. But I will say that they do average on non-precise games. Like if you're not talking about a first person shooter or extremely competitive fighting games, you're gonna be just fine with this. It really does well when it comes to that. And of course, it'll even do better if it just has to do refresh rate and nothing else. So if you connect something like a PS5 to it or a Nintendo Switch, I think again, that will be much better in terms of everything you need to do. And yes, it can do those, very, very well. And again, that's one of the things I like about it. I just got the new OLED switch. I'm probably gonna have that in the studio and it might just be perfect for that capability. And that brings me to my point actually. Overall, I have been trying to get a TV for the studio and I've been handed a lot of options uh, throughout the few months that I've been looking. And I'm actually going to go with this one. Overall, it's gonna give me a bigger display than any other TV would. It's great sound quality, really it stands out, especially for a middle-sized room like mine. It just really fills up the room without even trying. And finally, I really just am impressed by everything that it had to offer and everything I can get and that I would want in a TV, this fulfills that. Now we have to talk about Android TV. Android TV really is at the center of this console and that's so important to me. It's the best operating system right now you can get for a TV. Google TV is the all pinnacle one, but it really is just the best because it has every app you can want. Whether streaming service you're subscribed to, whether it be Netflix, Disney+, Plus, HBO Max, Peacock, Paramount, Hulu, whatever you are subscribed to, it has it. And I just love that I can have every app here, no problem. And again, I don't have to worry about storage the way a Google TV would. Google TVs have such small storage, this one does have more, so I really do appreciate that. Overall, just having a bigger storage, and again, still the ability to add a flash drive or external hard drive if you need more. So I will say that Android TV being at the center of it really does appeal to me, obviously, just because all my content's on there, everything I need is set up and perfect on there. Speaking of being on there, I could actually see myself taking this on the go to say like a hotel room or something along those lines. If you didn't have the biggest TV there, well, this is gonna give you again, a lot better quality and you don't have to deal with anything on the TV side. Really great for that purpose. And I could even see myself taking it certain places like even camping if I have a plug available or if I can plug it into one of my battery backups awesome for that purpose. Now, I will be testing out one of their portable ones next week, so make sure to subscribe to check out that video. Overall, what are my impressions for this? Well, I can't say any more than this is going to be my TV for the studio. I've had a lot of different options on having a TV for the studio and which one I would pick and decide on, and this is it. It really just is the best overall experience for me for the quality, for the picture size and for the sound quality, it just brings everything I need while giving me access to Android TV built in so I don't need an adapter, dongle, or plugging anything to it. It's the full package by itself. Yes, you can do a lot more if you want to with the IO externally, but just by itself, it fits everything that I was looking for. So yeah, overall, this is gonna be the TV for the studio now, and you might see even a projector screen come up on there soon because it just really is so great as is, but I wanna see its full capabilities and extent. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. Have you ever thought about getting a projector instead of a TV or as an addition to a TV? Let me know in the comments section. Thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Thank you so much again for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below. Also, follow us on social media at YouTube Tech Guy and check out some more great tech videos on your screen right now.